so like cpi is a part of scp okay so in scp we have different different modules like cpi so we have cpis so we have s4 ecc success factor arriva so like cpi is a part of sap which is belongs to our integration tool cpi is also known as uh, hana cloud platform previously it is known as hana cloud platform now it became that popular with cloud platform integration which is known as cpi so cpi is our like uh, monitoring tool and integration tool in cpi we can monitor that uh, monitor our flow our api what are the data we are consuming what are the data we are sending to different different api or third party system okay so our agenda is in the, in this training so first we will learn learn about that cpi like uh, what is cpi the architecture of cpi in cpi ui what what palette we have like uh, whether we have we are uh, gather your splitter everything okay so then we will learn about graphical mapping so we have uh, in cpi we have a palette known as message mapping which is also known as graphic graphical mapping so we have different different palette uh, to transfer the data so in cpi mostly you use uh, xml data xml and json data so we have different different palettes so like uh, router splitter then uh the then uh so we have business scenario so like uh, nowadays cpi is most popular than pipo so pipo is that is your uh, on-premise system cpi but nowadays in the uh, cpi is most popular than uh, your pipo because cpi uh, is very much flexible to give that give your business to more efficient like so it uh, manage your warehouse man it manage your warehouse your human resource finance through cpi you can manage your end-to-end -end solution So then uh, let's come to SAP. So like uh, as, as I told you, CPI is a part, part of SAP. So in SAP, we have different different modules. From them, CPI is a part of a uh, CRM module. Okay, so here we have mentioned CPI is a middleware. So we, have, we are just connecting two systems, like uh, we are just connecting backend system to frontend system. So CPI is a mid middleware. So it acts like a bridge. So, uh, like as you know, CPI only understand that XML language. So, in that first session, first what what we will what we will we will learn about that XML language and the JSON language. In the, uh, so this is the demo of XML language. So this is the root node, and then in the root node we have field like name, ID, or company. Okay. So. So first, in that XML, in the X, in the XML, we have different uh, like different topics like XML tree, then syntax, then element, then attribute. So we will we will cover all these things in that XML language. Then we will learn about to how to like uh, change that XML language to XLT language and everything. So this is the namespace of XML language. Here the HTTP one in the namespace. And this is the root element of that XML XML, and this is that uh, repeating node of that XML body. Then again, this is the in this root. So we have field like uh, TD field, and and then STD field. So these are the uh, like different different uh, adapter that we have we have available in CPI. We have uh, in CPI we have different different adapter to connect to your backend system. And to our front end system, so we have adapter like so we have systems like Ariva, HTTP, HTTP protocols, IDOC, IDOC to connect to ECC system, mail adapter to connect to mail uh, mail services, OData to connect to OData services, SFTP to connect to like your files file system, SOAP to connect to your ECC or S4 system. Same with your receiver receiver adapter, so. Receiver editor also can also available in the receiver editor. We also available that Ariva system, IDOC, IDOC service, mail, mail service, OData service, SFTP file service, SOAP service, and, and more than Twitter. And we have also success factor and success factor, employee central, and everything we have available in that receiver adapter. So, in the next session, we'll uh, we'll like uh, we'll go for the uh, graphical mapping which is also known as uh, message mapping in cpi so like uh, suppose we use the message mapping in that in the real case use message mapping when the uh, sender like your uh, sender backend system api 
if i fields are different from that your uh, front end system front end uh, api api fields so at that time you would uh, message mapping to like uh, to convert that uh, fields name from back end system fields name to front end system field name so uh, so in so in uh, message mapping we have different different palette like arithmetic boolean constant conversion date node function node fun in the node function we will just uh, handle the context of that field and then static see then test and construct custom function in that custom function uh, we can create a groovy script to fulfill our requirement so the so uh, in that uh, in message i think we have most mostly we have two two different parts queue and contest so contest change means when that when the contest contest change then you will get that so this is one first the blue, your pink one is the first first contest and the blue one is the second contest so when this contest change so the blue one will appear so that's why the pink one is different contest and the blue one is different contest then we have in, in that node function we have uh, different different palettes known as remove contest remove contest what it will do suppose uh, abc and ijk in, in, these are in same contest okay and def and xyz are are, are in different different contest okay so when you use the remove contest what it will it will do it will put all that fields into a single contest into a single parent contest so after the remove contest you can see abc ijk def and xyz all are in same contest okay but previously def and xyz are in different contest but after that remove contest abc ijk def and xyz fields all are in same contest then we have uh, replaced by replaced by value uh, then we have use one as many so so you would use one as many when you want to repeat that uh, one field into a multiple multiple section like uh, so in use as many so we have three inputs so you have to give three inputs so what value you want to repeat so how many times you want to repeat that value and where in which context you want to repeat that uh, field value so at that time you use that use as many so to con to repeat that uh, particular value in as many times you want so after that we have sort and sort by key so in sort we have uh, two different parts one is descending order and another one is ascending order so when you choose the descending order so what it will do uh, so far, so so 120 and 110 and 15 all are in different different uh, like uh, it is not sorted in a descending order ascending order so what it will do when you when you use that a descending order what it will give so it, it will give you the first 120 value then it will give that 105 value then uh, it will give that 101 value so when you sort in ascending ascending way so what what it will do first it will give you that smallest some smallest uh, smallest uh, number which is 105 then uh, your uh, more from than 105 than 120 which is your which is that highest value uh, and collapse condition okay. so like uh, same as remove context uh, so first in remove context we are just making all the context in the same value but in collapse context if if you are like uh, two or three fields in the same content then what it will do it will it will only give you that uh, like fast value from uh, from this example you can see uh, abc and ijk all are in uh, same context but what but when you use that collapse context it will, it is only giving that abc value because it is only give you it will only give you that uh, like top of the value from that abc and ijk abc is top that that's why it is only giving your abc same with pqrs and xyz do and, and, and these fields are in same context but it is but after after doing the collapse context it is only giving pqrs because pqrs is in, in is in top that's why it is giving only pqrs okay then we have replace replace value so like uh, uh, suppose from input we are fetching a value like uh, xyz and we want to uh, replace that xyz string value with your another uh, another like value like uh, pqrs so at that time uh you, you use that replace by replace by value so what it will do so every time it will uh, it will face that xyz value and replace with pqrs value 
so so after that uh, we have exist so exist means so it will give you that uh, true false false boolean condition like uh, so so we apply that exist values in that uh, node function only to check whether that uh, node is available or not if that node available then it will give you that boolean expression as yeah, boolean expression as true otherwise it will give you that boolean expression as false okay then same with creative so if you so we use that creative also in node function so in creative so you, you if the condition satisfy then it will give you that uh, uh, boolean expression are true if the condition don't satisfy then what it will do it will suppress that value so it so every time it will pass only that uh, true condition if that condition is false then it will uh, it will not pass any uh, like value it will only suppress that uh, node then we have use one as many sort sort by key map with default like sometimes uh, like uh, most of the time when that uh, field field is mandatory from the uh, for the target system the field is mandatory so we have to like uh, pass that field in any way pass that field value in any way and sometimes the, if that if, if we are not fetching any value from the backend system so you so you use that mapper mapper default so that it will give you some default value as you said so so from xyz field from xyz field if you are not fetching any value so what it will do it will uh, when you use the map with defaults it will uh, give you some default value and we can like pass the default value into our target system okay then we have uh, so uh, we have format by format by example so what it will do like uh, if you want to repeat repeat a like uh, repeat a field at that time you use this uh, format by example what it will it will generate the target by taking the values from the first uh, argument and combine them with the context change from the second argument so what it what it will do it will copy that previous previous context and uh, and give you that uh, give you that in your next uh, value <coughs> So these are all are in uh, node functions only. So in in message mapping, we have different different like node function like creative, remove context, replace by value, exist, split by value, collapse context, use one as many sort and sort by key, map for default and format by example. Then then we have also like arithmetic, boolean, constant, conversion, date, statistic, test, and constant function. In arithmetic, you will get that arithmetic function like addition of two, addition of two field value, or like divide of two, uh, sum of two field value, or your uh, division of two sum two uh, like two fields value. And boolean, it will give you that true or false uh, condition value. If like uh, so, like in Java, like uh, we have if or if, if without else, same with boolean. So we have uh, like function like if or if without else and everything. And constant, uh, what it will do? Constant will give you that constant value only. In, in so like, if you want to pass any constant value, so it will we, at that time we use that constant. Conversion means uh, like if you want to like convert convert any value to another value, then use that converter. And the date date means so if you want to like uh, uh, so suppose so we have in backend system we had uh, different uh, date format. And for the target system, we have different date format. So at that time, to like to uh, like convert that uh, date format to your target side date format, you use that uh, date uh, date function. Then node node function in the node function, I, I like I explained. We have remove context, speed by value, uh, collapse context, sort sort by free everything. Then statics is statics is it will give you that true or false condition only. Same with test and that custom function. Custom function in the custom function, we can create our own uh, like JavaScript and Ruby script to fulfill our condition. Then we comes to palette. So in CPI, like we have like uh, mostly we, we convert that uh, data uh, through palette. So in CPI, we have different different palettes like a router, aggregator, gather, join, multicast, splitter, filter, and everything. Okay. So router. Uh, so router is a part of CPI palette. Router means so it uh, so it will give it so in router. So if you want to use that router, then you have to give it that router condition. If that router condition satisfies, then it will uh, go to go to a same go to another path. If the router condition don't satisfy, then it will go to the default path. 
so message would enable you to define the message path you can also perform operations like splitting the message mapping based on the configure condition a router the split of message of different different message path so what it will do if that condition satisfy then it will give give you that uh, specific path if the condition don't satisfy then it will go it will go to your uh, default path then same with aggregator so what it will do so it will aggregate all that all the messages in a single in a single path same with gather so but in gather we have different different condition like uh, whether you want to uh, gather in uh, xml or different xml or on, or otherwise you want to like uh, just gather in a plain context same with join so use that uh, join to uh, connect to different different uh, like uh, system into a single system multicast so in multicast we have like uh, we have different we have two different different multicast one is your sequential multicast and one another one is a parallel multicast so sequential multicast so what what it will do so it will uh, go in sequence way so we have to define the sequence whether that first condition you want to like uh, fulfill or, or whether you want to sec you want to fulfill the second condition first in but in parallel multicast so it will parallelly uh, like uh, fulfill two condition in a single single run. Uh, okay so splitter means we so like uh, if you want to uh, if you want to split the split so uh, whether you so suppose you are getting 10 or 12 uh, like uh, node from that uh, from your backend system and if you want to like uh, passing individual node to a target system so at that time use that uh, general splitter to like to split the data according to your filter con according to your uh, xml condition so here is the example of so like we are getting the we are fetching the data from soap soap service and you are like uh, when we are posting that date soap service data to your mail mail adapter so what it so what that what this flow is doing so it is fetching the data from your soap service then it it aggregate all the data that that is coming from the soap service and it is transferring the data to our mail service here we have an example of sequence and multicast so same also the same so that the sender system is soap service and the target system is uh, your mail service so what it is doing so it is fetching that same same data from the uh, soap service and after that it is sequentially uh, like uh, giving that data to two different different paths like for one is your branch one and second the second one is branch two in branch one we are we are fetch we are like uh, we are posting the data to we are posting the data to different mail at to different mail sir to different mail service in branch two we are we are posting the data, data to another different mail service then now uh, we have in splitter we have like four four splitter one is most most popular one one is general splitter then then we have idoc splitter it iterating splitter and pqcs splitter okay then we have we have another palette known as data data store operations in data store operation we have like uh this we have we have four functions one is write write variable then, then we delete then select and then get so if you want to so if you want to so like as you know cpi is a monitoring tool so you can store the data in cpi so we can only like uh, see the data whether the data is uh, like consumed by the ta target system or not or what, whatever data we are we are fetching from from our uh, like source system so in cpi we have a we have a like palette known as data store data store which is to which store the data in a like uh, in 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 a very short in a very short time like uh, if you, you can store the data for like 30 days or 60 days in the in write operation we, we just write that uh, data that we are, we are consuming from our source system and delete if you want to delete that uh, data from our data store data store we can use the delete operation then select select means if you if you if you have already like stored the data in data store you can get that you can use that select operation to fetch all the all the stored data from the data store same with get if you, so when you use that get operation to to like to fetch that uh, specific data from your data store in, but in select operation we can give that condition to uh, select which data store or which type of data but in get op in get operation we can uh, give you that specific uh, data store name and that specific data message so then we have content modifier 
so like content modifier is a part of a cpa palette so in content modifier the content modifier is divided into three parts first and first is message header then property then body so so what it will do so it content modifier it, it will pass the data in a sequence manner so first it will pass that header data then your property data then body data so body consume the body uh, like hold that hold the da xml data which you want to like pass to pass to an, another palette so in message header we can store store some data in a like uh, like xml path or like you have to give that camel expression to store the data and same with exchange property uh, in property we can store the data in some like uh, in some days so we have like exception handling in cpa so sometimes if so if you so sometimes if that flow flow failed in cpa and we want to capture that uh, like failed message or anything so so at that time you use that exception handling so what it will do if that flow fails for some reason then automatically that flow flow data will come to your exception handling palette and it will give you that uh, exception region why the flow failed and and which palette the flow failed like whether that flow failed due to the your message mapping or any 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 another palette if you if that flow failed like for any other region it will give you that specific uh, like uh, region why the flow is failed so in like uh, so uh, cpa is based on security tls so it will give you that uh, transport protocol label or message label message label uh, protocol so so most of the time we use that message label to transform the data into our specific target system data so in transport label so we have different different transport label like sftp which is uh, like your file based your http and your smtp which is mail adapted receiver mail adapted so sftp so in sftp we have like secure so sftp known as secure file transport protocol so so you can use that sftp in both uh, like from for the backend system and for the receiver system same same with https so if you want to use that uh, http for that uh, uh, backend system then we have to use https so if you want to like post the data through http protocol then you can you have to use that http so same with the mail adapter so if you want to connect that mail adapter to receiver system then you then we use smtp so if you want to connect the mail so to your uh, like center system your backend system then at that time you would uh, like pop three for mail adapter so after that as i as i told you cpi is also a monitoring tool in monitor so we have like different different section one is for design section and one is for your uh, monitor section in monitor section we can debug the data why why the flow failed and we can like uh, in trace label we can also like see on what type of data we are fetching from your backend system so as uh, as from the screen so you can see so we are in the uh, monitor section and in the monitor section we are we have to go to uh, manage all integration content in that manage all the integration content we have all that flow that we have deployed in cpa in design section and, and in the manager in the in this in, in this section we can like uh, check whether that flow failed uh, due to which due to like for message mapping on any 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 other palette and everything we can like debug all the things so so signature so so we have in cpa we have different different palettes like signature very pair encrypt encryptor decryptor signature if you want to like uh, give a specific xml data to a target system we use this signature and verify it. like for the encryptor one and the, for the encryptor decryptor one mostly we use this uh, uh, encryptor and decryptor for the for that uh, secure uh, transformation of xml to a target system so what it will do in cpi we, what it what we will do we will we will encrypt the data encrypt the xml data through your uh, through your public key so in so for that encryptor decryptor you need to create two di two different key one is your public key and another one is private key so what it will do in cpi you will encrypt the data through our public key and and for the target system we will give you and we will give that uh, private key that we have uh, created from cpi and in the target system we, we will we can decrypt that xml data through our uh, pub, through our private key
so in data store we have as, as i told we have data in data store we have write get select and delete operation so so we have also write variables variables and variable palette and cpa so write variable write variable so most of the time write variable used to like uh, to test to test that to test the C, cpa flow whether that flow like uh, fail for any reason or flow that flow uh like um, flow gets completed with at what time the flow get completed so we have different different so we have different different signer values like pk pkca signer simple simple signer xml digital signer for the verifier also we have different different verifier xml verifier pkcs s7 verifier so as i told you like in cpa we have different different transport protocol and your uh, different different tls protocol so like protocols like http SFTP file protocol, mail mail adapter protocol, process direct protocol. So we have like also content enriched, send, request, reply. So SFTP is your asynchronous call, but HTTP and process diary is your synchronous call. SFTP and mail is your asynchronous call. So asynch asynchronous means uh, asynchronous call means it will it will not give any response response whether that uh, data successfully posted to a target system or not but for that http and proceed direct it will give it will give you that some response like 200 or 201 which is successful in cpa it will give give you that response code whether we are successfully posted to your target system or not so in cpa we have different different protocols like http https soap o data rest rest protocol sftp mail and success factor and success factor we have so so based rest based or data based so you have idoc ariba facebook system twitter so like uh, as i told so so fast in cpa we have to connect to a target system to con to connect to our target system we have we have different different uh, path we have different different method like whether we want to connect to, to connect to our target system through basic connection like through basic user id password and url or, or we want to connect to our system through our oath uh, like oath uh, authorization oath authorization means it will give it will every time it will create a different it will create a different token to connect to our target system or whether we want to use use our uh, client certificate to connect to our uh, your receiver system so here we have mentioned username and for that uh, the method that supports cpa like user, username password your public key or any uh, any other auth uh, authentication same with https so http also like uh, support basic authentication auth authentication authentication and client client certificate authentication so as i told you mail adapter supports like uh, both receiver and sender mail so for that uh, receiver one we, we use uh, smtp server and for that uh, uh, sender mail we use pop3 pop3 and imap server so same like uh, mail auditor also support like uh, basic authentication and auth authentication so process direct same with process process direct so process direct use only in cpi to consume consume one flow data to another flow like uh, so so if you want to consume that consume uh, one flow data to another flow so at that time use process direct uh, so what we will so what what we can do so we can use the process direct in a sender system to consume the data from from that uh, one flow another flow data so for the process direct as you are like consuming data from one flow to another flow we don't have to give any authentication mechanism same with send in sender in sender we have like uh, jmsq email adapter soap soap rm soap so soap so for the soap uh, for the soap adapter we can we can go we can give we can so soap we have like uh, soap adapter we can give like rm rm or 1.1.1 x so rm means it's, it's a asynchronous call and for that 1.1 x it will it will give you some response for that soap uh, response soap uh, service so sftp sftp is your like uh, uh, asynchronous call it will not give any response uh, from your backend from your front end system whether we have posted the data to our uh, successfully posted the data to our system or not it will only give you that uh, uh, response like the flow is completed 
uh, and, and it will not pass any response code so we cannot uh, like assume that the flow is uh, the that a system is connected to our cpi or not so as i told you like uh, cpi cpi is a middleware so we have so we have to first uh, connect to our backend system through our certificate like so if you want to connect connect to mail mail backend system so first what we, what we have to do first from that from that monitor section we have we have a uh, we have a palette known as connectivity test in the connectivity test we have to first gen generate a certificate through our through that url so uh, after that we have to connect the connect that mail mail system to our cpa through uh, through posting to posting that uh, a certificate to our to our cpa and then we have to we have to we have to give that cpa user id password to like uh, to connect to cpa through mail adapter so after that configuration we can we can consume the data through cpa or send the data through our mail adapter so so uh, so this 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 course will contain all these parts so we will go through all that palette and everything in a depth manner in the depth so what we so so in also we, we will we will get some real time scenarios to how that uh, business my business works through CPI and everything we will uh, will go through your practice 